Maintenance work only for authorized personnel. Observe the instructions given in the installation instructions. Failure to observe these installation instructions voids any Wolf warranty. Maintenance requires the following. One maintenance set. One cleaning set. One gas analyzer for the flue gas test. One differential pressure tester. The mains terminals remain live even when the on-off switch has been switched off. Isolate the system from the power supply. Close the gas ball valve. Removing the front casing. First undo the central screw at the bottom of the front casing. Push in the two locking hooks at the bottom left and right and pull the casing forwards. Lift the front casing upwards to release and remove it. Fitting the pressure test connector. Undo the M4 Allen screws on the ignition and ionization electrode. Fit the adapter plate with pressure test connector. The ignition and ionization electrode must be refitted after maintenance. Connect the differential pressure tester between the adapter plate plus and the flue gas test port minus on the device connection flange. Switching on the appliance. The appliance starts with the venting program for two minutes. Determining the combustion chamber pressure differential. Compare the reading with the table and take the required measures. If the pressure differential is more than seven millibars, Clean the heat exchanger. Burner maintenance. Pull off the inlet pipe. Undoing the fitting on the gas combination valve. Disconnecting the plug-in connections. Disconnect the following plugs. Fan, gas combination valve, ignition and ionization electrode. Pull off with small twisting movements. Removing the combustion chamber cover. Undo the two screws on the combustion chamber cover. Raise the combustion chamber cover, slide it back and lift it to remove. Burner maintenance. The burner must be cleaned each time maintenance is carried out. Deinstall the burner. Visually inspect for damage. Exchange if damaged. Clean with compressed air by vacuuming or tapping in the opposite direction to the flow. Clean the sealing surfaces on the heat exchanger and burner. Renew the burner gasket. Do not use boiler cleaning agents, acids, alkalis or water for cleaning. Cleaning the trap. Remove any residue from the trap. Place a drip pan under the trap. Open the cleaning aperture on the trap.
fill and flush the trap from above through the inspection port in the flue pipe. Flush only through the flue. Do not fill water into the ventilation air aperture as this could cause the burner to malfunction. Checking the electrodes. Remove the electrodes by releasing the two M4 screws. Check the distances and adjust them if they deviate. Replace ignition and ionization electrode with airway maintenance. Removing the heat exchanger. Emptying the condensing boiler on the heating water side. Close the flow and return the maintenance shut-off valves. Open the drain valve. Open the manual air vent valve. Removing the flow and return pipes. Pull out first the flow temperature sensor plug. Then the high limit safety cutout plug. The ignition ionization electrode plug. The flue gas temperature sensor plug. The fan plugs. The gas combination valve plug. The return flow sensor plug. The heating circuit pressure sensor plug. Release the three retaining clips. Undo the pump fitting. Remove the pipes. Removing the condensate pan. Remove the trap. Pressing together the retaining clips, pull them off downwards and place them in the casing. Unhooking the heat exchanger, lift the heat exchanger and remove it towards the front. Set the heat exchanger down on the burner flange. With the cleaning tool from the maintenance set, clean the pin rows diagonally. Please note, do not use cylinder cleaning agents or water. Blow off the loosened residue with compressed air or remove it with a vacuum cleaner in the direction of the burner flange. Replace the condensate pan gaskets and grease them with silicon grease, removing residue from the condensate pan. Checking the domestic hot water heating. Shut off the cold water and depressurize the system. On FGBK units, check and clean the dirt filter. Test run. Open the gas ball valve and switch on the appliance. Check the gas pipe and hydraulics for tightness. Remove screw B from the right hand test port. Insert the test probe. Switch on the boiler and enable the emissions test mode via buttons 6 and 7. Press and hold for 5 seconds. Carry out the checks after a minimum of 60 seconds of operation, measuring first at upper load and then at lower load. CO2 setting at lower load. CO2 setting value at upper load.
Maintenance work only for authorized personnel. Observe the instructions given in the installation instructions. Failure to observe these installation instructions voids any Wolf warranty.